Welcome back to Banished Mega Mod 8. And we are in the middle of exploring Medieval Grace, which is a very, very pretty set of buildings. Now, Monastery Storage is fine. The bundling shed, and somebody did notice here. Let's go to these bundling sheds that I had actually um, maybe put them with corn and I want them to use reeds. Right, and we've got one of two. I think that's new, one, two, that's perfect. Okay, let's check this one, corn. Yeah, that needs to be reeds, doesn't it? Thank you very much. At least we might get some bundles out of these. I was wondering why the reeds are building up. Yeah, 315. Okay, guys make some firewood. Now, fire bundles, are they stored on the ground or are they stored in warehouses? I wonder. Fire bundles. Yeah, they're, they're under fuel, aren't they? So I wonder if we put maybe a little bit of a fuel stockyard down here not stockyard um stockpile logs fuel fire bundles yeah that's what's used to store fire bundles so we should certainly put that there and they can store their fire bundles there and then i think we need just a little bit more road to make it truly efficient which we cannot get there fine we'll leave them without road look they're going up the steps to their houses that's lovely that really makes a nice link doesn't it between this very very colorful area over here actually looks quite good and the other area over here, this medieval grace, is a very, very pale set of buildings, but within it, uh, the different colors in the roofs and things. Pretty spectacular, actually, it's very nice. Now, that is what? That's a herb dealer, where is? Yeah, the, the doorway is there, let's put a little bit of path to there, why not? And I think we could do with something there. We've got, we don't need labourers, we've got 182 so we're okay. Let's just have a look under wild trees I would like bushes actually, deciduous bushes. I'd like something like sage or lavender. Let's keep the thing going. Medieval green sage bush, definitely. Oh, pretty, pretty. That would be lovely. Sage for healing. I like that a lot. They're beautiful bushes, those. And also, I think we need maybe a little bit of extra yeah to there perfect somebody's died killed by a cave-in that's not good we are now over a thousand people i have never ever never played this to such a level before i think we need some more trees here too pretty trees meanderwood trees i think we need to be careful with the color here i think that we don't want to do anything too blatant. We don't want to uh, make it seem as if, uh, you know, the trees are too bright for these buildings. I think that's something we have to be very careful of. Rubber tree, old wood tree, a wisp wood tree. Oh, that's quite fun, isn't it? Particularly by those two. 
Let's have that one. Purple Beach, I think we can get away with. That actually does go quite well. There. And the purple will pick up the beautiful purple there. Yeah, I think purple beech trees are going to be quite good in this area. Yeah. And then what else have we got here? Buckeye. May oh, wow, that's quite nice, isn't it? Let's go and have a look at the monastery up here. Ooh, another very, very sophisticated piece of draftsmanship. Do the monks live in? I wonder. I don't actually, gosh, they made 188 bread. And are they storing in there? They are. Wow. My goodness me. I think we need a well up here. Is that a well? I don't know what it is. I think that came with the monastery. I do think we need a well. Let's go into our mod, no, these mod collections. We're on Medieval Grace. And let's put in a well that is appropriate for this area. Yeah, perfect. Nice little well there. I don't see anyone commuting. Oh, there's one there. I, shall we assume that it's a monastery and they live in? Now, that is the monastery storage. That's the herb healer. Garden corner. Crafters. This is the monastery, right? We've got a cemetery. Chapel. Well, yeah, we've got all these buildings now. Houses. Yeah, we've got all the buildings I think we just have to assume that we've got the monks living in. Nothing indicates otherwise, but if you know, please let me know. That's very pretty there. Now, I do have a thing about having tall cypress trees near churches and it might be, yeah, this is the closest I think we've got. All throughout England, we have cedars of Lebanon, and they were always regarded as deeply holy uh, trees, and they were always planted outside churchyards. And in fact, the cedars of Lebanon in Lebanon are now very much threatened. And because of that, um, it is the case that we have more cedars of Lebanon in Britain than we have actually in Lebanon, which is amazing. It just goes to show, doesn't it, that the collections of one's ancestors, uh, you know, transplanting a tree to a different place can actually help you in the future. I don't like that large boulder. Let's get the stones out of there. Yeah, these trees do fit in quite well, actually. And we found a very nice one just there, Buckeye. Purple Beach does go well with these builds, I think. It's just got the right look to it. Um, and then we had a very nice, this Buckeye tree, I think is particularly nice too. Um, let's put that near the cemetery. And also we need the road going into the cemetery, not just up to the cemetery wall. Won't go in there, but I think we should take it to there. Yeah, that will look better. That will look a lot better. Yeah. That's fine. And we've already got 
four of 84 graves. That's horrific, isn't it? Absolutely horrific that we're so far on the graves. I think we have completed as many buildings as we can on the Medieval Grace uh, mod. I just wonder if this area looks complete enough. I wonder if we've got enough houses, for example. Let's have a look at where you, we have not got enough houses in this area. Right. My goodness. That was a telling point, wasn't it? Now, we have these very beautiful houses here. And I think we should put one... I got enough room there I have just get it laid out nicely there let's put another one of those there so we've got another house coming up there that's the well good by the monastery let's go back to our housing so we need at least one house there and where are you living, mate? Let's have a look. Oh, you're not doing too badly. Uh, it was the herbalist who wasn't living there. Now we've got, this is the education center. So let's see where the guy there is living. Uh, he's fine. Now. It fits in reasonably well with these tinneries, actually. I wonder where the people from the tinneries are living. Yeah, they've started to move into these houses. That's very good. And I think what we might do... Um, yeah, they want roads across here, don't they? Let's just can we get a road through the middle there. We can. Yeah, I think that would be nice. And then we'll take this road up here. Nope. Go on, you road. That's not going where I want it to. Right. Let's do it from this angle. Oh, nomads leaving us. And I wonder what diseases they've left us with this time. Yeah, we don't want that. There we go. Wow, look at them all. Oh, gosh, what have you left us with? And I think, could we get a house here? There's a beautiful ridge there. Let's have a look and see if we could get a house there. Because I think that education center, oh no, there we go. Oh no. And this is, it's a cherry orchard. Oh dear. We have to take it down. Um, okay, and then we need to put in a dense orchard again when they have taken these trees down. And we must remember that that is a cherry orchard. And we could take it to there. Let's do it. And look at this guy fishing in icy conditions. Where do you live, mate? I wonder if we can tell from here. Um, yeah, we can. Where do you live? Yeah, 
that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so we've got a whole dense orchard to do, and that is a cherry orchard. Uh, we've got lots of students coming through. That area, I think, is just fine. They seem to be managing. I love the square there. That looks pretty good. We've got another merchant. That's okay. Yeah, nice areas here with the lawns. I like that a lot. And I was thinking that what I might do is I, I'm i very in two minds about this, whether to put lawns or what to put in here. Um, I do think we need some more hedging. I think that would be good. So let's have a look at our decoration. I'm just having a, a nice look. Floral hedges. Yeah, that looks about right. And we've got one, two, three, four. Would we get a four in? Six. Four squares wide. Something there that I can't put it there. I don't think we can do five. That's really odd. Uh, do we do less? We can do two. Let's do... That space there has something in it. This must have been why I didn't put them in the first time. So if we look at this space here... Yeah, we get two in there. Let's do a two. and two there. Yeah, let's get those in. Wow, what happened there? What happened there? My game's crashed. What? What's happened? Oh my goodness. Right guys, I will come back to you. My game has completely frozen. Wow. I'll hope I'll see you soon. Okay guys, we have a problem. As you can see, none of the things that I have put in have taken. The game is not, it's just completely crashed and it's not come back as it should. Now, I don't often get game crashes with Banished and I have checked the storage on my computer. I have plenty of storage. Now, actually, it's not true. Look, it did take in the amendments I made. Look at this, the trees are there. Yes, the trees are there. But up here, do we have the well? That was what we put in. The well is being built. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, we've got a bit of hesitancy here. Okay. Yes, I'd put a... Maybe they still have to build that path. I doubt it. The trees are in. And... Did our amendments here go in? Storage warehouse, that's not what I'm looking at. Oh, look at this. Yep, storing fire bundles there. Excellent, so the guys around here have fuel. That's perfect, thank you so much for telling me about that. I was gonna say, what is that? It looks like a beehive. It's roof tiles, that's fine, I can live with that. 
Okay, now we were working over here. I am fairly superstitious about game crashes. I don't get them often. I uh, have reasonable computers. So it's not often that I get game crashes. And I think that this is a sign that we may have reached the limit on this particular series. So what I'm going to do is I thought I would do a quick trip down memory lane. Why don't we do that? Let's take out all these. Let's give you the best view we can. Okay, we know the well will be there. Right, so where did we start? Let's go around this whole map and have a wonderful trip down memory lane. But where did we end up? Let's have a look at this. We did 281 years. I think we've covered many of the mods, maybe not all. We ended up with 1,086 adults, 118 students, 99 children. We ended up with five hearts, they like lit, so they have a good health, four and a half of happiness. So that's not bad at all. I think that was a huge success. Uh, I'm just going to close down the professions to give us more space to look. We've got people dying of old age. So we started off as a little community here. This was our first ever uh, forester. These were the first mines, they still are our mines, but the whole mining district has developed. And so if we follow around where we have developed to, uh, we have some farms over here. This side is not that well developed, but if we come down here and we follow down, we come to the southerly areas and we come to our beautiful, beautiful mission here which I had so much fun in building. And I hope you had as much fun watching as I had building this. And I think it looks gorgeous. It really does look gorgeous. And then we continued with the Southern theme. Um, and we had the whole, you know, tequila area, the vibes, the beach bar, the agave mashers. It was wonderful. We had the very big haciendas, do you remember? They look gorgeous. And then coming down further into the southern regions, right at the edges of the map, we pushed out the Native Americans. They're over here with their gorgeous little huts and their teepees. Wonderful. Then we continued with the southern theme over here there we are. This was our area where I learnt that bannies meant banished people. I didn't know that before. We had a sort of these, the Cape Dutch houses here, which were gorgeous. We had all sorts of beautiful, beautiful buildings around here. We found markets we didn't know existed. We had tents, we found greenhouses, we found squares. We had agriculture, we finally got pigs down here after all that time where the butchers are working down there. We found mountain houses here. Gorgeous, gorgeous mountain houses. Ketchup farms, there you go. And then we had this beautiful church coming up here. We had the whole warehouse district, and then we followed around the map. We filled the edges over here. We managed to get, for the first time I've ever built one, is one of these beautiful squares, which I love very much, with their little beautiful gardens, I think. Then up here, 
We got into archaeology. Good heavens, we found archaeology. Then over here we had more farming districts right on the edges of the map going up to another forestry area and then we found for the first time I've ever used them these gorgeous gorgeous dock areas absolutely beautiful look at that wonderful I think they were the DS docks if I'm wrong I'm wrong but I know what they are <laughs> and then we came across here we worked our way through and these buildings were beautiful to find loved them we have a little formal area here with these lovely houses these were the colonial houses we managed to get these houses which are the medieval houses going here little tented community of traders brickworks we even got as far as the magazines wow 17 percent full there's still room in there guys we found this gorgeous greenhouse this hot house that i had never seen before we decided that we hadn't got enough beautiful lighthouses so we put in broadway towers and we will use those in future when we play banished i like that idea coming down here we found so many new areas we found these the friendly community which we loved very very colorful very nice we've just found medieval grace always good to find grace <laughs> and then for the first time ever i think i have built what well, now i built these scythe towers before but i think this is the first time i have ever built one of these old castles and then coming across down here we found all sorts of areas and then here perhaps as you know my favorite area our wild area this is the bohemian area we have the tree houses we have the little turrets all sorts of wild wacky houses that we found absolutely gorgeous and of course the beautiful gay head lighthouse which we love we found artisan buildings we came on to more formal areas we had this beautiful beautiful area here i think anyway where we had this lovely formal area we had the medieval houses the tithe barn that our people don't really like but we have it there because it looks gorgeous we had this wonderful colonial hall we had this Cape Dutch boarding house that fitted so well elsewhere. We had stables with horses. We had abbeys. We had monasteries. <laughs> we had a college. We had a coffee house for the first time. We've had these beautiful houses around here. We found our way into tailoring big time we really explored that area we had this really really dark dark industrial area up here which works very well with these dock areas and provides a bridge down to here we made coke i don't think i've made coke before i may have done this was our coffee house we had a lovely area here overlooking the gallows oh my goodness truly medieval we had lovely, lovely houses overlooking the sea. And of course, then we come back to this area. So we link back to the beginning. And I'm sure you will remember that all the way through our thumbnail has been this absolutely gorgeous area here. So we are going to call a halt to this series. As soon as you have a game crash like that, you realize you are on the edge of what your computer can manage. I am absolutely astonished that my computer could manage this much. So on a beautiful, beautiful spring day where the flowers are blossoming and the trees look gorgeous, we will say farewell 
Farewell to this series of Mega Mod 8. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Bye bye!